Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm back today with another Game Maker tutorial and today we will be modifying our back and forth enemies a little bit. So I will go file, go to our turtle and all I'm going to do is image, I'm going to flip him horizontally and then I'm going to file, save as, turtle left, is it right, means head and right, turtle right, okay. And this is going to be important for today's tutorial. So first off I'm going to have to go open up our recent tutorial. And then I'm going to go and load up that sprite, and it'll be turtle right. Now, what we want, oh, I did something stupid there. Delete. Yes. So for turtle right, we are going to have to load up our turtle right sprite. And some crap. Stupid, um, whatever this thing is. File, turtle right. As per usual, paint has to make everything suck. So we have to not paint. Um, whatever this program is, I have to make everything. So for our left and right turtle, what do we want to happen? Well, I'm going to use paint to try to explain it a little bit better. So right now, our turtles are going back and forth like this. Well, they're currently only facing this direction, the way the air is pointing. We want it so when they hit this wall, they turn and go this direction and when they hit this wall turn back to face in this direction well what what we can do let's, let's do that for starters what we can do is make it so when he hits the wall and um, what direction he's facing right now he's facing that when he hits the draw we can uh, reverse we can change the sprite to turtle right and this this will be uh, interesting so we have that there but he stays at that he says that when he hits this wall, he doesn't change back to the other one. We need to insert a variable so that when he hits this, when he hits from this way, he changes to the sprite that faces that way and that way. And when he hits this way, he changes to the sprite that faces that way and hits that way. And on and on and on and on. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to need a variable. And that's what today's Game Maker Tutorials is about. So, we, first, we're just going to delete, delete this, okay? And we're going to, I think we're going to just scooch this over a little bit so I can see my events a little bit more clearly. If it'll let me. No, apparently I can't. So what we're going to have is we're going to create it. And he starts off by moving that way, the way the turtle faces. So we are going to uh, make it. So when he's going this way, we want our variable to equal 0. And when he's going that way, we want our variable to equal 1. So we're gonna come back in Game Maker, and we're gonna go down to is a control. Yep, we're gonna go to variables, and we're gonna call our variable turtle direction, and he's gonna start off equal to zero. Set turtle direction equal to zero. So when he collides, this is where all the stuff comes in. We're gonna come back down to our variables, and I think it's test variable, variable turtle direction. The value is equal to zero. Then we need to chunk off our events that we want to happen. And then just an else. Because, you know, there's only two that can happen. So if turtle direction equals zero, what we're going to have is we're going to, first off, we're going to set the uh, variable turtle direction to one. All right. I'm going to have to pop them in there. And I'm just going to copy this and paste them here, I think. And we're going to set them to zero when, he's, when the other one happens. So when he when he gets set to one, we want him to face that way. So what we're gonna do is come back to main one. We're gonna pull the sprite in there, change the sprite to turtle right, is it? Yep. It's speed of one, and then I'm going to pop in here, create sprite. We're gonna change the sprite to just regular turtle when he happens at a speed of one. We change this here. Now this will do. This will go a long way. And making our game look a bit more professional. See, look, bounces back and forth. And we can do the same with the top and bottom ones, but I don't really want to rework the sprite, re remake the sprite for that. So, you know, our game just looks a ton more, prof like, it just looks cleaner. So, and it's just variables, um, checking variables. We just used an integer for this one. So, if it equals zero, that's how it, like, it goes back and forth. And it was really simple, and this is probably a really short tutorial, probably only a couple of minutes. I'm sorry about that, but this is, like, really something really, like, you know, simple, but adds a lot more cool things to the, I uh, think. This is, like, we'll also use variables 
for when like the direction the player is facing for when we want to shoot the bullet. You know, also going to uh, let that yeah that's like for for what player like what direction the player is shooting as we can have like a variable for um. I really don't know. Like you can do a lot with variables, like, but like most of the variables are handled by Game Maker, like your score, all that good stuff. And I figured now would probably be a good time to. No, I don't have any sounds on hand. But next time, next time we'll do sounds. Sounds are really simple. You're gonna love them. All right. See you guys later.